What's up guys, my name is PC from Charlie Intel. So at some point during the month of December 2016, Raven Software is releasing a free DLC map pack for Modern Warfare Remastered. Yes, you heard that right, a free DLC map pack that's going to include, at the very least, uh, six multiplayer maps. So these six maps are going to be Strike, Showdown, Countdown, Block, Wet Work and Pipeline. So you may recognize those maps because they were, of course, in the original game from 2007. So this DLC map pack is essentially giving us the remaining six maps we don't currently have in the remastered version of Modern Warfare, to then equal 16 maps in total on multiplayer uh, to complete the entire selection of maps in the remastered version of Modern Warfare. Now, alongside the six remaining maps we're getting in December, Raven Software also mentioned we're going to be seeing some surprises in this DLC map pack also. Now, I have no idea what these surprises are going to be. They didn't elaborate on it at all, so we're kind of in the dark as to what these surprises might be. But as we've seen so far, we already have uh, extra camos and so on in the remastered version of Modern Warfare before DLC map packs. Uh, so we might be seeing some more content added alongside the six maps. So we actually met up with Raven Software during Call of Duty XP in early September, and we asked about post-launch plans uh, for Modern Warfare Remastered, and they had the following to say. So I think December is going to be a great release. I think people are going to be surprised by some of the things we're going to be showing them that we have not talked about yet. Now on top of this, Raven Software has also said they currently have no plans as of right now to add the variety DLC maps broadcast, Creek, Chinatown and Kill House to the game. So uh, it's something they'll look into based on feedback, but at this point in time they have no plans to do so. Uh, the variety map pack was the first and only DLC map pack for Call of Duty 4 release during the year of 2008 which of course was a few months after the initial release of the game in 2007. Now, these comments by Raven Software were of course made during Call of Duty XP in early September, and since then, uh, quite a lot has changed for both games. For starters, both games are now released to the general public since November 4th, 2016, and I think we can all agree that the reception for both games has been quite different. So, Infinite Warfare has been somewhat negative in terms of its reception, whereas everyone seems to be praising Modern Warfare Remastered uh, since it is the uh, kind of rebirth of what is one of the best Call of Duties in the franchise. So uh, essentially, Modern Warfare Remastered is the more popular title, whereas Infinite Warfare is somewhat pushed to the side in terms of its popularity and reception in the community. So if we consider the overall thought process that is probably going through the minds of Activision right now, as you can probably guess, uh, Infinite Warfare is the flagship new game. So that is the game they're trying to push across the year with the season pass, the DLC map packs we're going to be getting in 2017. And overall that has the big budget across the year in terms of marketing. And that is their big new game they want to push uh, across the year until next year's game uh, from Sledgehammer Games. Now Modern Warfare Remastered was more of an incentive to try and get more players involved, uh, given the fact, of course, Infinite Warfare was based in the future, so that was going to turn away quite a lot of the core fan base, given it was the fourth future-based Call of Duty in a row for the fourth year in a row also. So, uh, ultimately, Modern Warfare Remastered was there to incentivize people into purchasing the Legacy Edition, which in turn makes more money for Activision and generates more revenue, and also caters to more players to get more uh, purchases, essentially. The whole idea is uh, to make more money, and uh, that is essentially what Modern Warfare Remastered is. So this year has clearly not gone in the way that Activision was hoping it to go in terms of both games and their reception in the Call of Duty community. Obviously, they must have anticipated some negativity towards Infinite Warfare, but I doubt they expected it to go the way it has gone in terms of how much more popular Modern Warfare Remastered is. If you look at stuff like YouTube, live streams, all that kind of stuff, it's very much ahead of Infinite Warfare in terms of just how much uh, content is being consumed on YouTube, live streams, and so on, as I mentioned, and in terms of how many people are actually talking about it on Twitter and so on as well. So given the situation overall, I imagine Activision has probably called upon Raven Software to start working on more DLC after the first DLC release in December 2016. At the very least, I think we'll see the variety map pack from the original release in 2008 as a free DLC map pack at a later stage after December, so perhaps a few months afterwards, maybe around February, March time in 2017. Uh, plus, we might also potentially see some additional maps or perhaps more game modes and perhaps even some more camos also, uh, as we've already seen. Now, in terms of other additional content they could add to the remastered version of Modern Warfare, there is currently a rumour going around that they could be adding some new weapons to the game over the course of the next few months, or perhaps in the DLC map pack in December, uh, they mentioned some surprises, so perhaps the surprises are some additional weapons, or perhaps they'll release them uh, later on in the year in 2017. Now, uh, none of this is set in stone, it's just a rumour right now, but it appears some discoveries were made on the PC version of the remastered version of Modern Warfare, and uh, from that it looks like some additional weapons are in the code, it seems, and can actually be seen and played with uh, if you just do enough, like, kind of 
uh, re-engineering and hacking it seems uh, from some of the pictures we've seen so uh, whether or not that's actually true or perhaps they're left over from the previous engine this game has come from it looks like it's a advanced warfare engine for example perhaps they just copied over some leftover code i don't know uh, if it was me and uh, my opinion i think it's possibly going to be the case given the fact of course that seems to be the only logical addition to the game that doesn't really make anything too game breaking uh, so they can't really add any new kill streaks or perks or anything to the game that changes the core mechanics of uh, Call of Duty 4 from 2007, but weapons potentially could pass in terms of uh, being added to the game, so that is definitely a possibility. I really know that a lot of you guys don't like the idea of that at all, uh, so don't think it's going to happen just yet, but it's definitely a possibility. As for other content, we might see some additional maps added to the game, but hopefully it's just the Variety DLC map pack, uh, but potentially we might see some more maps added across the year also, but fingers crossed, if they do, they are in line with the overall theme and feel of the game itself and they don't look stupid and out of place in terms of how they look and how they're designed and so on. So uh, fingers crossed they don't mess it up and uh, hopefully they work out okay. So that's everything for this video guys. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Do you agree or disagree in terms of adding new content to the game? And if you'd like to see some more content added to the game, let me know in the comment section below as to what that is. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and of course subscribe for further Charlie Intel content every once two days. Thanks for watching guys, goodbye.